Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to show you how we can install Laravel Livewire and how we can get started with it. So first thing that we need to do is go to the browser and search for Livewire install. And then we're going to click on the first link. Now here inside the install package section we have a line of code so let's copy that. And this is what we are going to paste inside the terminal. Let's hit on enter. And now we're going to wait till it gets installed. And as you can see, we are getting using version 3.3 for Livewire. So this means that we have the Livewire version 3.3 installed. Now, if you're not able to install the latest version of Livewire, which currently is 3.3, you might need to upgrade your PHP version or your Laravel version. The minimum requirement for PHP is 8.1 and the minimum requirement for Laravel is 10. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my first Livewire component. So let me clear first. Now in order to create components in Livewire we need to type the following, which is php artisan make Livewire, followed by the name of the command, which for me is going to be counter. And now let's hit on enter. And as you can see, we have component created. Now with that, we have two files created. Now inside the first file, we have our component class where we create our logic. And inside the second file, we have a blade file, which is basically our view. So first I'm gonna open the component class file. And as you can see here, we have a class, which is extending from component. And we have also a method, which is the render method where we are returning our blade file. In addition to that, inside the class component, I am going to create a new variable, which I'm going to name count. And right after that, I'm going to create two methods. The first method is going to be the public function increment method, which is going to increment the count. So here inside the function body, I'm going to access the variable count by saying this count. And by typing plus plus, we are incrementing it by one. So let's move on creating the next one. And this one we're going to call decrement. And instead of plus plus, we're going to type minus minus. All right, so now that is it for this one. As next, I'm going to head over to the blade file. And as you can see here, we have an outer div, which is very important in Livewire since we always have only one outer element, which is going to be the div. So inside here, I am going to simply create an h1 element. And inside this h1 element, I'm going to type the variable count that we have created in the class component file. And then moving forward, I am going to create two buttons. The first button is going to increment the value of count. And to do that, we need to access the increment method that we have created inside the class component file. To access the increment method inside the class component file, we use something called livewire actions. Now the goal of those actions in Livewire is to be able to easily listen to page interactions. In this case, the Livewire action is going to be wire colon click, which means that every time we click, the increment method inside the class component file is going to be executed. So we're going to replicate the whole thing for decrement as well. And here instead, we're going to add minus. All right, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to focus on creating a route. So let's go to the web.php file. Inside here first, at the beginning of the file, I'm going to implement the component counter. So let's say use app livewire counter. And then we're going to create the route. So let's say route colon colon get. And the endpoint is going to be counter. And for counter, we're going to call counter colon colon class. All right, so let's add the semicolon. And then as next, we're gonna head over to the Laravel app. And inside the URI, we're gonna type counter. And as you can see right now, we are getting an error. Now, the reason for that is in Livewire, we need an HTML layout for our component to render inside of it. Now, in order to create a layout, I'm gonna head back to the VS Code and right inside here, I'm going to type the following, which is the PHP artisan livewire colon layout. This command is going to generate the layout file, which is going to be located inside the layouts folder. So let's open it. 
and as you can see right here we have a slot variable this slot variable is the variable that is going to render all the component that we are going to create in the future all right so now that we have our layout file generated let's go back to the laravel app and here we're going to refresh the page and as you can see we're getting two buttons so let's click on the one of them so if we click on plus we are getting the number increased so if we click on minus we're getting the number decreased now if we take a look at what happens in the background right inside the network when we call the action you can see that we are sending update requests through livewire to the server so as you can see here we have a request url which is the livewire update this means that this certain route is already used and cannot be accessible anymore all right so now let me show you another thing which is rendering livewire component inside other components so first let me create another component and this one i'm going to call greeting so hit on enter and now we're getting a problem with artisan i think we have misspelled it so let's type it again and i'm going to replace this with greeting and now let's go inside the class component file and right here i'm going to create a variable named greeting and this will be set equal to hello world all right so now let's go to the view file and right inside the div outer element i am going to simply print out the greeting variable so now instead of creating a special route for this component we are going to render it inside the component that already exists which is the counter component and when it comes to rendering components we have different methods to do that uh, the first one is using the normal html brackets so let's add live wire first followed by a column and then we would add the name of the component itself which is greeting followed by self-closing brackets so now let's go back to the laravel app and refresh the page and as you can see we are getting hello world back so now there is another way which we can use to render components inside component and this one is by using the so-called laravel blade directive so let's type at livewire followed by brackets and inside the brackets we're going to type the name of the component itself and once we have that we're going to head back to the laravel app and as you can see we're still getting the same result even after refreshing the page so this is for my introduction video into the laravel livewire i hope this video was a great starting point thanks for watching leave a like if you found it helpful and subscribe if you want to hear more from me